We've reviewed the Vault Skin Chelsea and Notting Hill wallets in the past, but today we're going to do a twofer. We'll be looking at doing a quick comparison and review of the Vault Skin City and Manhattan wallet. Now, there's one big distinction between these two, and it's not the orientation of the wallet openings. See if you can catch it. It's like these two guys never met each other ever in life. Here we have the city and the Manhattan. They all both come in similar boxes. Let's open them up. Let's do the city here first. Looks like we have some tissue paper. And voila, we have styrofoam. Special gift to you. All right. This is a vertical. Oh, got a card here. Let's see what we have. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, card. Wonderful. So, vertical bifold. You can see here. Interesting things. Let's look now at the Manhattan. Same black box. Same paper. And lo and behold, another piece of special styrofoam just for you. This is a horizontal bifold. And I suspect, let me guess, a thank you card. Fantastic. Similar. They are both cognac. Cognac, cognac, however you want to say it. They do come in seven other colors, however. And so, let's start with the city. There are features on the exterior. We have a billfold pocket right here. So this is where cash goes. We also, and this is designed to hold any currency height. We also have two external card slots. And you're saying, well, where are those? Well, they are right here. You can see them, one and two. Cards go in here. They're a little thin and slim, but cards can go there for quick access. That's why we have this little notch right there on this side. If we go to the interior, we've got four additional slots. One, two, three, four. And we'll talk about this beveling that goes on here. It is a, a nice design feature. If we set that aside over here and come to the Manhattan. Well, the Manhattan exterior, we have one feature. This is a external card slot, capacity one to two cards. We come to the interior and we have four more. One, two, three, and four. One to two each and a billfold pocket. Nothing else by way of secret or hidden or whatever. And that is the review of the city and the Manhattan features. Now, if we compare the difference between the two, from our feature perspective, it really is how cash is handled, folded or not. With the Manhattan, you do not need to fold cash. It just goes in fully. But on the city, because it's vertical and because it is not very long here, very wide, you do have to fold your cash once to be able to get it into this billfold pocket. And the city has one additional card slot compared to the Manhattan. Now, if you think the real difference is the hidden card slots on the city versus the Manhattan, well, that's not it. So keep watching. The city measures 3.03 by 3.86 by 0.39, and it weighs 38 grams or 1.34 ounces. If we look at the Manhattan, Manhattan measures 4.09 by 2.99, we'll call that three and 0.39, and it weighs 38 grams, or 1.34 ounces, the exact same as the city. From a pricing perspective, we have the city at $55 and the Manhattan at $55. Now, the city is only available on their website currently. The Manhattan you can get on Amazon, where it is actually less money than their website, which is where I pulled the price. Did you see it yet? Come on, I'm not that smart. Okay, watch these next sections closely. The difference between these two are pretty interesting. The ultimate footprint are really the same. You can put these on top of each other. You can see that really, really, they're the same size. Just a little, little bit off in that. And again, it's really the 
how the position of the open, it's either horizontal or vertical versus horizontal, is how it functions. And you'll notice, of course, the big difference is that it comes down to how you carry and what you like in your wallet. So cash isn't folded in this one, cash is folded in this one to get where we need to be. 80,000 subscribers is our target. Then two lucky winners will be able to choose five wallets of their choice for my inventory. Noisy birds. Anyway, if we haven't reached 80,000 yet, you still have a chance. Subscribe now. Both are designed in the United Kingdom and made in China. And they're made from an Italian leather, and this is chrome tanned. Mmm, chrome tanned. It does feel really good to the touch, but it is thin. This is a thinner leather, which is due to the cut of the leather, and it incorporates a lot of RFID material in here. It's everywhere. As that compensates for missing leather while trying to provide features. We can also see that uh, it is down here, so we have a leather topper everywhere you see this and even in the back you've got a leather ends and RFID material begins. The edges are rolled. So if you can see that right here it's essentially the leather comes in and rolls like this and then it's get, it gets sewn on both sides and that provides a, a better idea for stretch points uh, or for stress points so it prevents that and it uh, if it starts to wear out well it wears out on a double leather edge instead of on just a raw edge. You can't just put the edge of the leather here because it needs to have this roll to provide structure and strength. The sewing is done by machine and all the stress points really are provided for with some extra sewing. And you can see that on the city even more so right here with these secret pockets. It's really quite uh, good attention to detail on this to make sure that through all the opening and closing and whatnot, uh, it's not going to just tear apart. And the Manhattan has the same all the same kind of sewing, it's the same leather type. You can see that we've just got the topper here, then we get down into RFID material, RFID material, it's just all the way through this. And so it has the sewing in all the right places. You, uh, we mentioned here it's got the double stitching where it's necessary and where you would expect it. It's missing a little bit up in here, but haven't heard any complaints people about this pulling out from a sewing perspective. Now with both wallets, from a usability perspective, the city in particular being, they're all, they're both engulfed with RFID. You don't have tap pay opportunities with either of these wallets. The RFID is on all sides. Now the way that they provide this on the city is you have your little hidden card slot. You have two here, but on this side you'll notice that we have this little notch. And that allows you to get in, grab your card, pull it out, whether it be a Metro card or a quick pay card. Uh, same thing here on the Manhattan. You have this notch in the front. This is where a card goes and it provides an access to pull it out, you know, finger and thumb much easier to use. Now the minute threat of RFID theft, and you need to see my video on that, it's completely a scam, just can't overcome the everyday multi-times convenience of use you get from being able to do a tap. And you know, that said, a lot of, uh, there, there are several manufacturers of wallets that provide the ability where you have protection, RFID protection on the, on the interior, but on external slots, you can use it for tap. I like that, that's making a consideration in design and usability for how how people actually function these days. Now cash capacity on the city is hampered by the width. It's not wide enough to put a full piece of, of you know, of cash in here. Just, just barely doesn't make it. You have to fold it to put it in. Whereas on the Manhattan, the Manhattan being horizontal or landscape opening here allows for full cash without needing to fold it once to be placed in the wall. You see you have generous amounts of space on both sides. But the other thing you might notice here is that, you know, cards, because this is a traditional bifold design. Now this too is full of RFID silliness and it does have a thinner profile. And so you think that you can stuff this wallet full of cards and cash but and expect it to fold. Well, it, it won't, okay? And the reason that you can, you can tell that is because the allocation or lack thereof here for space in the fold. If this was more and came up a little bit more, then it would make accommodations for more cash and more cards to be able to facilitate that closure. And it doesn't. So this is really, you shouldn't go beyond, I don't know, five to seven cards max and maybe five to six notes in this. And you saw that in the card and cash insertion test. The company does recommend up to nine cards in each, but that will come at the expense of cash that you put in here. Designed differently to appeal to those who might like a vertical versus horizontal presentation they are virtually the same. But the main reason we have two wallets is currency dimensions. The city is built to handle taller currencies like the GDP, Euro, Yen, while the shorter currencies like US dollars and about every other currency works with both, but 
specifically with the Manhattan. Now due to that, you can only purchase the Manhattan on Amazon in the United States with the city available off their website. So now onto the final score. Both wallets came out with the same final score. For quality of three, nothing amazing or impressive, common materials and construction. Price of two, these are very way overpriced for what you get compared to others that are built the same, frankly. Features of three, besides the slip card slots on the city in the front, all features are to be really be expected and there's nothing uh, interesting or unique there. Usability of three, no issues with usage. And perception of three, false skin has been around for several years, uh, but I've heard uh, issues regarding support some good, some bad. And that gives us a final score of 28 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. If you found this video viable, then look at this one next. And we do have the reviews of the Notting Hill and the Chelsea available if you want to look at those. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.